update alone, CU Boulder reported 56 cases. 441 cases now have been confirmed in less than a month's time. And with the situation rapidly getting out of hand, CU is now telling all students living in Boulder to stay in their homes or dorms unless absolutely necessary. The Kappa Sigma fraternity has earned the wrath of the city as well. They're being threatened with jail time for constantly breaking the rules. Number 7's Jason Grenauer picks up the story from there tonight. Jason? Yes, you add in the five fraternities and sororities with active outbreaks, one dorm here on campus with an active outbreak, and that fraternity house off campus that you just mentioned now under a mandatory quarantine. All of that's happened just within the last eight days. So what does that mean? It means more restrictions on students. It means more enforcement being done by the university, but it also means more being demanded of the university to do even more. Oh, it's empty quiet on campus today, even more so than earlier this semester as COVID cases on campus spike. A little uh, frightening, I would say. Concerning, I guess. All students now under a 14 day recommended quarantine. You can go to these classes, but just don't go anywhere else. We saw it coming, but it's kind of weird. Sucks and I don't really want to go home. University officials blaming large gatherings off campus for the rise and resulting restrictions. And that's not an exercise in shaming. That is an exercise in being able to treat them like adults and, and demonstrate the expectations we have for them. Adding that enforcement will be stepped up and if student behavior doesn't change, that could lead to further restrictions, including campus going to fully remote learning. We need them to clearly understand what the stakes are. As some CU staff also weigh the stakes of working in person on campus. We're all feeling fairly unsatisfied with how it's being handled. The union of hundreds of CU employees now demanding the university give hazard pay to those who have to work on campus. To compensate for the possible lack of working time or possible long term, possibly lifelong, who knows, um, health repercussions that CU should provide some compensation since they're the ones making the call not to shut everything down. A CU spokesperson replied in a statement saying they would not be paying hazard pay, but that they have health and safety procedures in place for all who are on campus. So what does enforcement mean? An email from the chancellor so far cites 422 students referred for code of conduct violations. That includes large gatherings or not wearing a mask. Moving forward, penalties can include things like probation, suspension, or even expulsion. Though as of this morning, officials did not have any, any information on any students yet being booted off of campus. Reporting live at CU Boulder, I'm Jason Grenauer.